how would you respond to the fact that many in dental medicine criticize the subtractive phase of DTR? Well, uh, DTR is a coronal, can be performed as a coronoplasty procedure, which um, puts it under the category of equilibrating. And people use the word equilibration for all occlusal adjustments, which is not the case at all. Equilibration actually is the removal of the CRCO discrepancy and the equalization of the CRCO discrepancy at the same vertical dimension of occlusion. It has nothing to do with treating excursive friction or treating disclusion time. So there's an entirely different process involved in doing that. So, so equilibration is not disclusion time reduction or immediate complete anterior guidance development. Not at all. They're completely different processes and their end results are very different. The focus on equilibrating is actually to not have anterior contact. It's to have slight anterior contact and to have increased posterior contact and um, to, to tripod the mandible and make all the teeth meet um, supposedly at the same time. Where disclusion time reduction and ICAGD are aimed at removing the friction of the posterior teeth from the MIP position, not in centric relation, and to move the forces anteriorly so that the center of force moves away from the back teeth, which unloads the system, stops compressing the PDLs, and relieves the, the, the uh, symptoms of occlusal muscle disorder very quickly. Equilibration can't do that because it posteriorizes the mandible and CR, which increases the posterior tooth contact rather than decreases the posterior tooth contact. So there's a distinct difference between those two procedures. And also one is measured. Disclusion time reduction is always measured. ICAGD is always measured. The endpoints are true numerical um, tooth force and timing uh, quantifiable entities where the endpoints of equilibration are really does it feel okay to the patient and do the paper marks look uniform and widespread and distributed, nothing quantifiable.